Hey guys, it's Strike, and today we're going to be reviewing this. This is the Nerf In Strike Bow Strike. So, not claiming any sort of elite style performance. Comes with three darts, has some sort of deployable scope and bow action. And that's kind of fun. I'm a big fan of bow blasters. This reminds me a lot of a crossbow as it does have a trigger. The front end is kind of beveled, which is sort of neat. But other than that, it is, in fact, like a very much rehashing of this concept that was started with the snap fire of turning jolts into inline jolts, where instead Instead of the plunger being in the handle, they're up here, still using the trigger mechanism, but a very simplistic form of blaster. Now this costs more than the snap fire, which is excellent because it looks like we're going to get much more for our money because the shell looks to be much nicer and the performance is hopefully going to be better. better. Wow, can't talk, it's cold. So. The handle is immediately more comfortable. I can actually fit all three of my fingers on here as opposed to the, wow, that's fun. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it deploys when primed and then upon firing snaps back, but blaster is comfortable even with the skeletized handle. I'm not having any real issue there because it is small, but I can fit all of my fingers on. So the glow shot, I couldn't do that. And I like this a lot more as opposed to the innate thinness of the snap fire you can see that it's just a much much nicer shell and actually seems to have some sort of enclosed plunger tube it's not coming out the back so it might not be an inline jolt it might be more appropriate to say that this is a toned down night finder slash fire strike kind of blaster but i am not sure if it's claiming any sort of ranges and it doesn't look to be so we'll go ahead and test it firing the darts it came with, which are J-Code Elites. That's pretty standard. I really like the, the deployable bow arms that, that don't really serve any purpose, but I think it makes the blaster a lot of fun. I would not choke up on it like this because I imagine this will fold back on your finger. Not that that would hurt, it would just impact the, the blaster's kind of natural functioning state. So firing performance is fine. That's a 35 foot shot right off the bat. Slightly less, about 27. Okay, and another 35. So let's try some angled shots. We'll throw in a zombie strike dart, fire angled. Hit the deck, I guess. Here's a suction cup. More or less the same. So I think that it tops out at that kind of performance. Definitely has some modification potential similar to the glow shot. I think that this one would be fun to tinker with if there was enough demand in the comments section below. This would not be a, a full update probably. It would be like a short and sweet mod guide. But if you like one, let me know. All in all, I think this blaster is sweet. For the price point, it performs a little bit worse than the Fire Strike, but does something kind of unique and kind of fun. It doesn't have the cool LED tech, but this bow flippiness I think is cool. It would make a very fun LARP blaster if you had to do Renaissance or Old Timey. Spins nicely, comfortable handle, and the Prime is super duper easy. The fact that this action actuates with the Prime and is very intuitive is also a, a plus. So cheap blaster, low performance, but it's, it's a cool gimmick and I kind of enjoy it. So similar to the Glow Shot, I think that if you're looking for a single shot gimmick blaster, this is an option and I think it's just as viable as the Glow Shot. Although personally, I prefer the Glow Shot more. I do think that it's definitely a step up from the Snapfire and that is a notable feature as well. But that's my review of the InStrike Elite Bow Strike. And I, I think that it's sweet. It's, or not Elite, InStrike Bow Strike. And I, I think that it's cool. In fact, I really like that the old school InStrike logo is embossed on here on top of all the Digicam nonsense. But we have Nerf logo, InStrike logo, Bow Strike. Very simple, very clean color scheme and a lot of fun. It would be a great uh, Christmas present for younger Nerfers as well. So if you'd like to pick one up, link to Amazon in the description box below. And if you'd like a mod guide for it, be sure to let me know. Let your voice be heard. Thanks for watching.